shout out to Danilo for posting the most perfect 900 there. It's been a long time since I've seen one that good. What up, it's Brandon here and welcome back to Blader News, your number one rolling news source. And as always, we're just gonna roll straight into industry news. And the first thing I wanna talk about is Ricardo Lino because once again, he has made inline skating history. And he did this by doing the first ever 24 hour live stream to do with inline skating. Shout out to everyone who stayed up and made it through the whole entire thing like Ricardo Lino did himself. He stayed up through the whole stream, hosting it the whole entire way through 24 hours. This live stream featured a huge amount of crazy collabs with everyone you love in rollerblading and in general was just a really fun time. Sadly, the stream has been lost forever. You can't go back and rewatch the VOD. From last I heard from Ricardo Lino, it's just stuck in an infinite loop of processing on YouTube. So maybe someday in the future it'll come up but it doesn't look like it's going to. <laughs> the next thing I wanna talk about is very sad, for me personally at least, and that is Conja announcing that they're no longer gonna be in business and they're shutting up shop. They've stated the whole reason they're closing up is just because they no longer have the time to run the business with family and just normal life getting in the way. If you know me at all, you know I absolutely loved this wheel brand. They were doing something very unique in a very saturated scene. They were constantly looking at new wheel profiles and different colors and crazy graphic designs on the wheels, as well as really taking packaging to the next level, instantly becoming a collector's item every launch they had. I loved everything about these wheels. I have never broken one. They were just like the perfect wheels. So I am so gutted about this. You have no idea. I just wanna give a huge thank you to Conja for just doing what they were doing for the amount of time they did. Conja was the first aggressive rollerblading company or company in general that believed in me and supported what I was doing here. And I really appreciate that. And they're gonna be very much missed. Now what wheels am I gonna skate, right? There's no profile out there that came anywhere near the rocket profile, right? Oh well. But in some much happier, lighter news, Roller News is back online. You know the website where you used to find all the edits, all the recent stuff happening in blading? It's back online, just like it never left. Roll News was a huge reason why this show right now exists. A bunch of people found me because they shared one of my videos talking about the new Them 908s. So I'm very glad to see they're back and I definitely recommend checking out the website if you ha somehow have never checked it out before. It'll be linked in the description. But anyway, that's it for industry news. Let's move on to everybody's favorite part of the show, product news. And the first products I wanna talk about is my new clothing line for Laced NZ. We have four brand new products and a couple of things that I'm super excited about for it. First up, we got my first ever screen printed tees, the clean tee and the illusion tee. Now, despite common misconceptions, the clean tee can get dirty and it probably will get dirty when you're skating it. It is, however, constructed to improve your confidence and control while you're out skating, helping you land tricks as perfect as you can imagine. The clean tee will make you skate cleaner. As for the illusion tee, this one is specially designed to help you do some illusion spins. It doesn't matter if you've already mastered them or you have no idea what they even are, putting the shirt on, you'll be able to do them 20 times better. Next up is the hoodie I'm wearing right now called the Colors Hoodie. I keep getting a bunch of DMs asking me to bring back the original shirt I had with this design, so I decided to bring it back on a hoodie, but this time a bit brighter in this beautiful gold color. Because it is Pride Month in America right now, I've decided to pledge $5 per one of these hoodies sold to Inside Out, which is a New Zealand-based charity that supports LGBTQ plus young people in schools by providing a bunch of different resources. You can learn more about them, I'll link it in the description. I'm hoping this shows how much I support keeping rollerblading open and safe for everyone. Everyone is welcome in inline skating, except for the people who don't think that. They can fuck off, like I said so many months ago now, you know? And the final new product they have is the one I'm probably most excited for, and that is the Laced Waxed Laces. I made these laces because I was absolutely sick of having to have way too long laces whenever I wanted some nice, strong hockey laces. So these are waxed hockey laces that are the correct length for aggressive skates. You will no longer have to wrap laces around your cuff or chop them when they're brand new. The part I'm most excited for about them is that they are coming to a skate shop near you, or at least closer to you. If you're in New Zealand like me, you can find them at Shred City Skate Shop. If you're in Australia, you can find them at Rampant Skate Shop. And if you're in America, you'll be able to find them at Oak City Skate Shop. They're not there yet, they're on their way, but they're gonna be stocked there. Next time you do your order for some new wheels or something, chuck one of these in there and you'll be supporting some of my favorite shops as well as me. And my apologies to all the countries I didn't make it to yet. We'll get there, okay? Thank you so much to those skate shops for stocking this. They really helped me out there and they didn't have to do that. Buying these products is the best way to support me in this show. I personally pack and ship out all the orders myself 
and I really appreciate every single order I get. So if you want to help me out, check the link in the description. Even just have a look at the website, I would really appreciate it. But anyway, that's it. That's my ad spiel. Let's move on to the rest of the products. And the first skate we're going to talk about today is Mary's new Pro USD Aeon Skate. Now this technically hasn't been released yet, you're not meant to have seen the whole picture, just this half picture here. But like what always seems to happen with Powerside releases, it was leaked everywhere. Even by big skate shops, not those like weird little ones that are always doing it. But since that leak, every single picture has been removed. So in respect to that, I'm only going to show you a picture of the full thing that I somehow found on the internet for one frame. So there it is. No going back and pausing, okay? <laughs> Now this skate looks so good and I'm so glad that Mary's getting supported by USD like this. She really deserves it. She absolutely kills it on skates. One thing everyone was talking about for the skate though was the price tag. Coming in at 399 euros, which is about 490 US dollars, which is almost $200 more than the usual Pro Aeon boot. This is an expensive skate. Now I'm hoping that when they actually release the skate, they'll say the price hike was because they want to be able to support Mary more per boot. Kind of like what them was doing with the Danny Bear. Because if it's for any other reason, they're really going to be missing the mark, I think. So fingers crossed, that's what's happening. Speaking of USD, they also released the USD Aeon 72 XXI. It's just a nice, another simple, safe black boot featuring the like soft top like the new Aeons all have. Perfect for everyone who likes to play it safe with a nice black skate and also skate some bigger wheels. We also got a couple more custom Them 909s which look so good. Every time I see these man, I wish they were one of ones because they're so cool. They seem to keep coming as well. Moving away from the established aggressive rollerblading brands, we got some wreck skating brands starting to make some aggressive skates. Starting off with Flying Eagle, they released their Enkido, if that's how you say it, which should give you the comfort and control of a free skate while letting you do some grinds. They are a 65mm flat setup when you buy them, which is a bigger wheel. They look really good and I always love having more options in skating, so this is really cool. The other free skate brand that's making an aggressive skate is Micro. Over on that 24 hour stream, I got to talk to Lino for a bit and there he showed me very briefly a Micro aggressive skate. Now, since that VOD's gone, I can't show you any proof of that. All I can show you is this picture of him covering the skate with his hand. And that's all we know for now, but I'll let you know once it has been released. For a final skate of the day, we got a new Rick skate. It's a Powerslide Zoom Lomax. And it's in that almost black navy blue color, which is pretty sick. And it supports Lomax, who is one of the coolest skaters in rollerblading. If you're looking for some big wheels, definitely check these ones out. And then we got a new pro wheel for Paul John from Gods in this beautiful pink color. It's going to be a nice small 57 millimeter and soft AAA, which sounds so nice. We also got some new anti-rockers that are made on demand by a 3D printer. And look at that really unique shape. I'm sure these skate so good. Check out Shadow Industries Instagram to learn more. Those rockin' frames I talked about in the last episode, they're now available for pre-order. Definitely grab some if you like the beautiful colors these come in and you're looking to do some big wheeling. And then we got the first 3D print on demand frame walls for the 5050 Prime Fans available that I've seen at least called the Hexi Frames. Definitely check them out. I'm loving this color options they have. And then we got a new flat frame, which I'm going to try to say the name of. I'm definitely going to get this wrong. It's the Intense Dairy Dari Frames. Now these are already sold out, so you've missed out. I'm sorry. But there's a bunch of unique features about these, which are really interesting. One of the biggest things is they're using a unique plastic that no one has used before. At least as far as I know, called POM. Uh, Palm? I don't know. I don't know. They look really good and I'm kind of gutted they're sold out. We also got them releasing a pair of pants and these look so good. They're supposed to be a relaxed fit work wear pants and everyone knows how important a good pair of pants for skating is. Blade Life released a new tee called the OG Vibe tee which is beautiful as always. And finally I want to talk to you about We Roll Brand, a rollerblading clothing brand that's doing something different. They're focused on being sustainable and organic which is very important in our day and age. They have some really cool designs, definitely check them out. But that is finally it for product news, so let's move on to my favorite part of the show, media you should check out. Once again, I have your fortnightly reminder that if you want to get your stuff on the show, the only way to do so is to post it on the Blader News subreddit, which will be linked in the description. I want to help get some more Young Bladers videos seen out there, and that's why I've added the new Young Bladers video submission flair. If you're a young shredder or you know a young shredder who has a sick edit that you think is underrated, Post it on the subreddit with this flare and by next week I'll randomly pick someone to send a small lace package. But anyway, let's get into your dope edits because there were so many good ones this fortnight. First up, we got this beautiful piece of blade art, a drawing of Montre Livingstone, 
We even got the sick speed montage of Travis drawing it. This is beautiful. I can't wait to see more on my Instagram feed. Go follow him, he's the man. And then we got a really good documentary of the Brain Dead X Them collab over on the Complex News YouTube channel, which is an absolutely massive YouTube channel. This video was really good. You learn a lot about how the whole thing came together. There was a bunch of little coincidences that just made this happen. Shout out to Robbie Pitts. And then for you people looking for some longer skate edits, we have this 40 minute piece called Official by the Official Sunday Brunch. This is a really good vibe, long park skating group edit featuring a bunch of really cool skaters like this channel always has happening. It's really hard to pick any highlights because there's so many good parts in it. You know, there's really good people in here all the skating is just ridiculous, but if I had to pick one, it's John Bellino, and just, just like, look at this, you know, like, who, just what, what was that, what was that, what, I don't know, anyway, <laughs> and then we got an edit called Surprise by Switch Rolling Life, a new YouTube channel based in Portugal, there's a bunch of cool videos on this channel, if you don't speak Portuguese, there is English subtitles for every video. But if you don't check that out, just watch this edit because it is so good and it will get you pumped for your next skate. Like I always say every week, you know. And then Stefan Brando bless us with a sick group street edit from a comp he was at that features some really good skating and Stefan's crazy cool new hair. Definitely check this one out. And that's finally it for Blader News this fortnight. Before I play the end, I just want to remind you that links to absolutely everything I talked about today will be in the description down below. Go check them all out. They all deserve the views way more than me. If you want to do me a huge favor, please go check out shop-lace.com. Just have a look around. I put a lot of time into it. Read the product descriptions. I'd really appreciate it. Or you can just subscribe if you haven't yet. I want to give a huge thank you to my Blade News correspondents, James, Matt, Sonic Sports, and Sweet Moves, as well as the rest of my patrons and members. They really helped me keep doing this, especially recently. And now I'm going to leave you with a clip that just makes handrails look so easy to skate when handrails ain't easy to skate. Just check it out. Yeah.